because why? Uh, this morning when I woke up I had a weakness in my right arm and my grip strength was decreased uh, substantially and that kind of worried me. My name is Chris, 41. What do you do for? Um, I do radiology. He came in because I was experiencing um, pain up and down uh, my right side of my neck and then that would alleviate up to like you know, down to my back because I'm trying to correct. Gotcha. Because why? Uh, this morning when I woke up I had a weakness in my right arm and my grip strength was decreased uh, substantially and that kind of worried me. Please? Squeeze as hard as you can? Yes, yeah, it's nothing. Look at it. You squeeze as hard as you can, girl? I couldn't. How'd that change your morning routine? Uh, well, I couldn't brush my hair. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what else? You said you grabbed your phone or something? I grabbed, I grabbed my phone and, and it was it was hard to kind of hold it. It was almost like I was going to drop it. Gotcha. Um, feeling sensation that Tesla you did, um, I felt everything much more on my left side than on my right, and which was really odd. For yeah, me. he yeah. wasn't aware of that either, but his whole right side is almost shut off. As far as like being in the gym, like I feel like my right side fatigues faster than my left um, over time. May 22nd, I had uh, a pain in my right ear, like almost like someone went in there and grabbed my eardrum and like, was trying to pull it out. And with that pain, it exacerbated my headaches. And then from there, I found if I tilt my head a certain way, the pain would go away. And I figured like, you know, if the pain should go away a week later, the pain was still there. You got now it. I have... Uh, the neck pain, the neck pain, and the ear, the ear ache. And okay, so you went to a nurse practitioner. What'd she do for you? Um, she just gave me um, like ibuprofen, and a little stronger, six hundred milligram kind yeah. of stuff, right? And so, how'd that help? Uh, it helped with the pain because obviously. But then the pain you said came back. Yeah, it came back after the medicine wore off. I, I went to my PCP and actually he uh, prescribed uh, antibiotics for me. And it went from an eight out of ten to a what now? To uh, maybe about a two. So it's still some pressure in the ear, but uh, less, right? Yeah. So the antibiotics probably took down some of the infection, some of the inflammation. Tell us about your headaches too. Uh, my headaches aren't as severe, but they're still a little they're, bit there. They're still a little bit there. And the it's neck more... pain, the neck pain is more of the thing that's bothering you. Correct. And the reason you're here is not just because of the neck pain, because his arm started tingling this morning, and, what, and the weak grip, right? Correct. Tell us about the walking thing. So it, maybe a couple weeks ago, I noticed that when I was walking my dog. My right foot would be straight, like pointed straight, but my left foot would be angled to the left. And that's how I was walking, almost kind of like... Uh, you didn't want to walk like that, right? Yeah, I did. I mean, I've always walked both both feet pointed straight. And I just, I just started to notice that. And I kind of connected the dots a few weeks before that. Walking down the stairs, I felt a uh, sharp pain you know, walking down, stepping on my left foot where I couldn't put pressure on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, I felt like ligaments were being stretched. And so tell us what happens when you try to walk straight. Um, when I try to walk straight, I'll be walking and after, you know, maybe five or six steps. Tension in like my, right here, my acetabulum, my hip area. Gotcha. And then going gotcha. down. Did you try to fix that? Did, were you able to fix it with pain medication, with any no, kind of I, stretching? No, I, I, I didn't take any pain medication. I do, I do uh, stretch my uh, calf, my ankle, and ankle and my a calves, bit. one or two. Like I started so, to feel a little bit of the pressure coming back. Okay, so what were you doing at one or two? Um, I was actually, I was cleaning. Cleaning what? The house. The house? Mm -hmm. Sweeping. And okay, well, yeah. They're, there's vacuuming and sweeping and yeah. washing dishes, so you're doing more the sweeping and yeah. vacuuming thing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And so you noticed it uh, start to come back when you were doing that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Which one particular, sweeping or vacuuming or or wiping? Uh, I think maybe like the wiping, like kind of yeah. like when I was like looking, oh. kind of like looking yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah. So you'd realize that it's part of something that you're doing that maybe bringing it back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna check his range of motion of his neck. Go ahead and look down. Any pain, tension in your neck right there? A little bit. A scale of 10, what is that? Uh, about a one or two. Look at the ceiling, please. How about that? Yeah. A little tiny bit more, but like a three. A little tiny bit more, yeah. But then I feel a tension like right at the back. Got gotcha. you. Right, right by my ear. Come a little closer. Good, get there. Good, perfect.
Good. How'd that feel, dude? You okay? Yeah. What are you thinking? Feels like, yeah, less pressure now. Less pressure already? Good. How about that? Felt even better. Breathe in. Out the mouth. Good. Here we go. Open the mouth wider, don't breathe that hard. You open out, just open. Did you like that dog? Yeah. Okay. Breathe in. And out. Push your belly down now. Good. Cast it again. And breathe out. Come on, Robin. There we go, Robin. How's the uh, walk feel? Feels normal. I don't know if I'm. Okay, let's try. Let's try to compensate. Down, yeah, yeah, let's let's uh, bring your foot in. And so the way you want to walk, right? Uh huh. Good. And you're gonna walk towards me. Go to walk. Stop. How that feel different? You said you had pain in your left hip before. Uh, TFL there's, before. There's no more pressure here. I don't feel like I'm correcting at all. Gotcha. With this adjustment, I feel uh, walking my gait is a lot better. Even better than yesterday? Even better than yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the tightness in my ankle has alleviated a lot more. Okay. Like I can actually do bend my ankle and it's not painful. Yeah. Yesterday, I was kind of, my back was kind of like, kind of humped over a little bit. Today, walking, I feel taller like you know like my posture is more corrected that we did an experiment on that before you got the experiment you guys check out the video out and we have one that's six years old okay now go ahead and look at the floor that was a two I don't really feel anything. look at the ceiling please remember you had pressure up under your skull uh-huh no pressure no pressure now so it should be a lot better a lot better right dude yeah. Time. <laughs> anyway, you can feel the difference, right? Yeah. Okay. No, so I don't, um, feel that, I don't feel that tingling yeah. sensation I had this morning, even in my arm, like even coming here. Uh, driving my car, it's it's manual, and trying to get into reverse earlier was, I mean, I felt like it took a lot more effort. It happens because neurology is turned back on. That neurology is allowing all the stuff to work better. And no amount of antibiotics, no amount of ibuprofen can change that. Structural change can only come through a proper chiropractic adjustment. And you saw it happen right on there. He not only changed his neck, but his gait. Anything else you wanna say? Thank you. Uh, by the way, thank you for helping me with the lights and getting the camera too. I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. What do you think? Dude. Kinda cool? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So this is our end screen. I'm with Chris. And uh, we're gonna do this end screen together and so, Go ahead and subscribe up here. <laughs> and then check out those videos down there. Carpal tunnel and grip strength. See you guys. <laughs>